okay? You know, I've known Beulah for 26 years, and she knew me. Uh, she's been coming here for probably over 40. We, we're not sure. It might be as many as 50 years. She's been in the same family for her entire life, and they take impeccable care of their animals, all of their animals, but Beulah is the, really the matriarch of their family, and it's second-generation care. And Tim and his wife, they do not have children because their elephants really are their kids. It's seven days a week, 365 days a year. So when these animal rights terrorists say and do the things that they say and do, it's incredibly hurtful. Beulah had a great, happy life. She died just before Mass on Sunday. Uh, she had no signs of, of any illness. They did a full necropsy on Beulah, which is a tough thing to do. You, know, you, you don't want that to happen when you're that close to a person, or in this case to an elephant. But the necropsy indicated, and the USDA is fully aware, that she died of natural causes, a heart attack. She was 54 years old, and she lived fully 10 years beyond their normal life expectancy. So this is a sad day for all of us. Uh, and I'm sad because I like bringing elephants to people. Uh, and those who suggest that it's, there's incompassion or uh, it, they're wrong. And they're hurtful, and it, and it applies not just to an exotic elephant, but it goes right through our production livestock with the young kids who are working with sheep and lambs and cattle, and it's wrong. So you don't agree that elephants shouldn't be on a fairground? you think that's totally okay? I think it's totally okay as long as those elephants are being well cared for. You know, people have a misconception. You know, it's, Richard Nixon in 1972 made it illegal to import exotics. So there are, no, there are no exotics in the United States today. And these are elephants that typically are born in captivity. Now, you might have some really old elephants, but, you know, when you're in that business, you have to take care of those elephants because that's your livelihood. And anybody who suggests that somebody's maltreating them, well, they might be looking at videos that were taken in the 1960s. So you don't maltreat something that, that you might be earning a living from. And, and it's what about just the like, lawsuit against the Comerford's in Connecticut? That's nonsense. Uh, you know, th there are a number of them. There's not just one, and, and they're nonsensical. The idea that, you know, you can give human rights to anything other than a human is really beyond the pale. Uh, you know, what, what would be next? Giving human rights to your golden retriever? Uh, that's just foolish. And, uh, you know, this, these, these concepts that are out there, they're being proliferated by people who have an agenda, who tend uh, to be, you know, zealous, many of them. And, and that's not to say all of them are. I've gotten some very, very kind inquiries. And, and the kind inquiries, I, I actually try to answer because they're, they're people who have, have general, genuine concern. And I think if they, they knew or understood a little bit more, then, then they are, they're less apt to be influenced by those who are on the fringe. What would you say to the people who've seen these elephants, who have seen, you know, heavier people riding the elephants that are, like you said, living past their lifetime, that are past their 50s and they're still here. What would you say to those people well, who are concerned about their well-being? Well, first off, in the case of Beulah, you know, she, Beulah's been here for the past couple of years as an educational exhibit. So, you know, her handler, her owner, Tim, recognized that Beulah was of retirement, you know, status. And so she was not, uh, you know, working like that. Uh, but remember now, elephants are a beast of burden. Uh, the the, the the Great Pyramids were built by, by elephants. 
uh, who, who hauled you know, the, the, the material for that. And they were used right up until the 20th century. As a matter of fact, they may have even been used to, to lift the steel here at the Eastern States in the Colosseum. So uh, that is a fantastical, disnified image when, when you're thinking about these beasts of burden. Uh, an elephant lifting a 200-pound a, a man or a 250-pound man on his back or carrying weight like that would be like me picking up a 10-pound weight. Uh, again, people tend to be so removed from agriculture and animals that they have a, a there's, there's a disnification of these things. You know, you can't snuggle up to a bear because a bear will kill you. Uh, but these are domesticated animals, even though they're classified as exotics. You know, Beulah lived as long as she did, and she never harmed anyone. And, and, and she knew me, and I knew her, and it's a very, very sad time for me personally. Do you guys have any regrets with allowing an elephant that old to come here? Absolutely not. And as, for as long as I have this job, I will try to bring elephants to people. And as for the lawsuits against the Comer Birds, have anything come out of those? or yeah. have Nothing has and nothing will because you know, the, the, the Comer Birds are the gold standard for animal care. I mean, we, we wouldn't be in business with the Comer Birds. We wouldn't, they're here by our invitation. Uh, I, had, I asked him to bring Beulah uh, this year. Uh, Beulah was a social animal. When she came out to a place that she's so familiar with, her trumpet was blaring. Our CFO was a friend of, of, of Beulah's. He would bring her apples every day. When she saw him, uh, she would become very excited. Um, so she loved being here. This was really her second home. That she wasn't at home when she died, I'm glad she was at the Eastern States Exposition. And I'm sure you've seen the picture of her lying on the ground. Well, was that just how she was resting? Well, that's why, frankly, that's why the petting zoo is located where it is. We've always had elephants there, and there's a nice maybe 30, 35 degree incline. And when the elephants, they like to be in the sun. And you know, when the elephants would go into their quiet area, it was, it, they lay down just like my, you and I would. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a natural thing. And because of the incline, it was easy for them to get up and down. So, you know, Beulah laid down every day that she was ever here for the past, uh, they've been in that spot for at least 30 years. So it was not unusual for that, that picture. And this is where the zealous animal terrorists gin up support. And what they're doing in, on the internet and, and they notify, I, I even, I'm on their mailing lists. What they're looking is for is to raise donations. And a picture like that touches people, but all, for all the wrong reasons. And for those people who, who want to help the elephants, I encourage them to do so in their natural habitat. Because as we stand here today, there are less than 25 traveling elephants in the United States. 10 years ago, there were more than 75. So in a, in a very few short years, it'll be impossible for you and I to bring our children or our grandmothers to see the fabulous gift from God in the, in, in, in the feature of an elephant.